Hello, and welcome to How Do You Do? How Do You Do? Hi, everybody. It's Joanna Langson here in the Puppet Shop, and today we are going to make a very special craft using all the colors in a crayon box. This is a really fun art project that I'm going to show you using all those old crayons you might have in your house. I don't have a lot of old crayons, so I'm using new ones, and we're going to make our very own art piece using crayons and melting them. This is one of my favorite things to do, and I'm going to show you how you can do it at home. So grab some crayons and let's make some art. Here we go! All right, so for this craft, you will need a few things that I bet you have in your house. First of all, you will need crayons. Um, I'm gonna use brand new crayons because that's what I had, but if you have old crayons, that is a great thing to do and use for this craft. You will need something to attach your crayons on. I have some old canvases in my house. I have lots of canvases in my house, but you could use a thick piece of paper, you could use cardboard, you could use a piece of wood, but you do need something stronger than normal paper. So you need something like a canvas, you need crayons, and then you need some heat. Now, this is one of my blow dryers. This is what I use for my hair. You can use a blow dryer. It works perfectly for this craft, but for my puppet shop, I happen to own a heat gun. This you do not use on your hair. This is a special gun that's extra, 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 extra hot. I use this for a lot of my puppet making. A normal blow dryer will work, but I'm going to use a heat gun. It just goes a little faster. Either one will work. So if you only have a blow dryer, it works great. It'll just take a little bit more time. And then you need some glue or tape. And I'll show you two different ways to do this, to hold your crayons in place. And that's what we need for this craft. Let's get going. All right, so let's talk about crayons. So if you have a bunch of old crayons, they work great. I'm gonna use new ones. The first thing you wanna do is pick which colors you're going to use for this project. So first I'm going to dump all my crayons into a container. Now you can do, this is a great rainbow project. You can use crayons at random. Oh my gosh, everybody. I love brand new crayons. I think that's an art piece right there. But I am gonna select some colors that I like for this project. And what we're going to do is pick the crayons and we're going to attach them to a top of a canvas and melt them and let them drip down and kind of mix and blend together uh, in a really organic, fun way. So I am going to take the paper off my crayons. You don't have to do this. In fact, it can look kind of cool to see that they're just Crayola crayons or whatever kind of crayons that you have. But I like to take the paper off. A lot of time, old crayons, the paper has fallen off anyway. There's two ways to do this. You can put your favorite show on and peel all of this paper off and it'll take a while. Or if you have an adult with an X-Acto blade, you can take all of the paper off the X-Acto blade. It's a little tricky to do, it's a little dangerous, so don't do it on your own, but this is the quickest way to get the paper off your crayon. So I'm gonna pick the colors that I want and take the paper off, and then we'll attach it to our canvas. Um, all right, let's take some paper and pick some crayons. All right, so I've taken some time and I've taken all the paper off a collection of crayons. I'm going to do kind of a pink to green to blue. Uh, and there's gonna be two different ways we're gonna do this. I'm gonna do one of my canvases um, laying flat and blend all the colors with a gun. But my favorite way to do this is to attach the crayons to the top of a canvas and let them melt down. Now you can glue your crayons. Um, I've got a hot glue gun warmed up, or you can tape them. I'm gonna do a little bit of both. So for my drippy, 
canvas on my table. I'm gonna use my crayons without paper. Uh, and for my ones that are gonna, I'm gonna drip down, uh, I'm gonna keep the paper on. For that one, I'm gonna do kind of an orange and purple color combination. I'm gonna glue these and also put a little tape on there. As they heat up, you wanna keep the crayons at the top so they all the wax drips down. So I'm going to attach these with some glue and with some tape. And the first thing I'm gonna do is lay out the colors kind of the order I want them because I want these colors to blend. So I'm gonna play with probably the lighter shades to the darker shades and see what it looks like when it all comes together. So let's glue some crayons. Run away, crayon! Kit Kat, would you get that? No! All right, so I have hot glued all of my crayons to the top of a canvas. I'm very excited for the dripping. Hot glue, because it is a kind of a liquid, it's kind of like wax, it's liquid. It should hold pretty well, but just to be careful and sh to make sure that my crayons don't move or slide down as I heat them up, I'm gonna use some, this is white duct tape, and I'm going to use half of it. So I took a very long piece, cut it in half, and I'm going to just put a line of it just to make sure these crayons stay put. And I will leave these crayons, this top part, on my art piece, uh, even when I'm done melting, because I think that will look kind of cool. So now what we're gonna do is prep our space to melt all of this wax. This can be a little messy, and this is uh, my blue cutting tabletop, um, I do not want to get wax on, so I'm going to put an apron on and cover my work area quite largely in some paper. That way if the wax kind of goes on its own adventure, it won't ruin anything. So make sure you do this when it's time to melt it. You find a nice clear area, and I'd put some paper down. You could use newspaper. I'm going to use purple paper because that's what I have. So uh, let's get our space ready. Hi, this is a different view of the puppet shop. Um, behind that wall right there is my actual basement that you are not allowed to see because it is a mess. But time to melt. So, and that's Kit Kat playing in the area that you're not allowed to see. It's probably on a cardboard box. So I'm gonna put my canvas, I have an easel right here. You don't need an easel, you, but you do want to lay this upright. So you could use a box, speaking of cardboard boxes, or anything that you don't mind getting some wax on, uh, but something so when you get heat this, it'll drip down. Now our other canvas, I'm gonna show you how you could do it flat. So there's two different ways you can do this. You either can melt and let the colors kind of do their thing, or you can do it on a flat surface. And we'll use my uh, paperless crayons for that project. So now that I've got my canvas here, got my heat gun ready to go. This is gonna go quite quickly because it's got a heat gun. If you have a blow dryer, it'll just take a little bit more time. You have to be a little bit more patient, but it'll do the exact same thing. So I'm going to set my temperature quite high. And... Make it nice and hot. And now we melt.
That's my fire alarm. So, if you're doing this underneath the fire alarm, it will cause some smoke. It might smell a bit. So I would, if I did this again, I would do it outside, but I'm gonna put this back after I'm done. So now I've made a really cool piece of art. It's dripping and it's gonna harden like crayons do when it's dry. What I like to do is let it kind of get hard again. And I might go in and push some colors and use my gun and mesh the colors around. But I just love how it naturally makes a really cool painting of colors mixing and blending. So I really love how it's changing from kind of orange to purpley. So I might play with that a little bit more. I'm also gonna turn my gun down a little bit so I can be a bit more purpose purposeful, purposeful, intentional with uh, where the colors are blending on top of each other. I think that looks pretty cool. All right, so we have one art piece done. I'm gonna take it off my easel now that it's dry. I love these drips on the bottom. And there we have a really beautiful, drippy art piece. My favorite part is how the colors blend. I love blending colors. This is why you wanna pick the colors that you like. So this one's done. This would be an example of a drip crayon painting. So that one is ready to be hung on my wall. I can't wait for Vivian to see it. Another way to do this is to play with mixing your colors flat. If you don't wanna let them drip naturally and let them organically kind of make an art piece, this way is a little bit more like blending paint together, except it's crayons. Um, for this, you will need a pair of tongs because even with a blow dryer, especially with a heat gun, you don't want to hold the crayon and be too hot for your hands. So what we're going to do is I have a few colors here. I'm going to play with blues and greens and some pinks. Uh, these are really good colors on the color wheel to blend together. So I'm going to start with just getting a layer of some crayons. Uh, I'm going to start with greens. Um, I think I want some of my darker greens down here and I want it to get a little lighter as it goes to the top. I'm gonna start with letting these kind of melt down. It's kind of like layering a sandwich. I'm gonna let them get really liquidy and melt, let it dry for a bit and then add more and more. I'm gonna build up a very, I don't know, I hope a very interesting painting. So this is painting with crayons. Here we go. So that's some of my green colors. I kind of like the crayons kind of being stuck in there, but we'll see. So now I think I want to do some pink. Who doesn't like pink? Um, so let's get some of these ones out and I'm going to kind of, I'm going to go with some darker pinks up here uh, and some lighter pinks kind of blending in with the green and then we'll see what we want to do with the blue. Here we go.
it's starting to look kind of fantastic, I think. So I'm doing lots of different things here. I'm dripping wax, I'm melting wax. I really like how thick it's getting. This is an example of, I'm gonna let this kind of harden and keep adding layers. I want this to be kind of a thick, thick canvas, which is really hard to do with paint. It takes a long time to build up paint like this. So this is hot, it's getting smelly, but I'm really loving this area. And this is where when you're an artist, you just go for as long as you want to. When you think it's done, it's done. So I'm gonna keep playing with this a little bit more. I really like this area, so I think I'm gonna bring some dark blues down here. I might leave some of the canvas. I kind of like seeing the white, but again, you get to be your own artist when you make your painting. So let's do some blue. So we've melted quite a bit of wax. It's looking pretty magical. So now I've got so much crayons going on that I am just gonna play with mixing them and kind of, I call it paint, making it more like a galaxy, making the colors kind of spiral. I really like what's happening here. It's almost a marbling. So where I've got a lot of wax, I'm gonna to try to blend the colors a little bit more.
is my painting. So we had an art day. We made some art. This is our drip crayon painting. I hope you like it. This is featuring orange and purple. I call it Sherbert Sky. That's what I'm going to call this painting. It's very fun to name your paintings. And this is our painting we did not standing up and dripping, but melting and mushing. Uh, and it's all dry now. And I think that is pretty cool. And I call this um, Ziggy Stardust. That's what I'll call this painting. These are now ready to hang in my house. I might put this one in my kitchen. So I hope you have some crayons in your house and some glue and a blow dryer or maybe a heat gun. Make sure you're in an area that fumes can go not in your face. Make sure you're not above a fire alarm. This is a great project to do outside. Um, I hope you have some crayons and a canvas or cardboard or something you can attach this to, a piece of wood, and drip and melt some crayons and make some art. If you're looking for some inspiration, I want to share with you one of my favorite books. I ain't gonna paint no more. This is a book about a child who paints everything they can. And this is what I feel like this art kind of looks like. So if you don't know this book, it's by Karen Beaumont. It's a great book. Pick it up, get some paint inspiration, some color inspiration, get some crayons, and hope you can go make some art. Thanks for watching. How do you do? I hope you have a great day. If you make some art, please share it with us on Facebook or anywhere you see us online. Thanks so much for joining. See you next time on How Do You Do? Bye.